when I proposed the idea and I applied for the grant for the city of Dallas, I mentioned that, you know, earlier in my 20s, you know, I had traveled a lot to Los Angeles and San Francisco. And I had told them how, you know, those cities felt really vibrant and alive. They had so much public art and people really enjoyed that. I wanted them to know that the city of Dallas could be just like that if they were to embrace artists in the city and give them the opportunity to really have a chance to shine. That's really what my goal was, to encourage the city to provide more opportunities for artists to provide public art. I hope that it becomes a public gallery for more muralists, and I hope it becomes the public gallery for the young kid that's seeing it every day on their way to school, for them to grow up and become the muralist of the future, you know, and that's what I hope the mural does for people that want to become artists. The one at the Belmont Wall was commissioned by the Belmont Hotel and the Dallas Contemporary. We're really happy and honored to be sharing it with Shepard Ferry and then also another artist named JMR. We wanted to give this neighborhood something that I think people could connect to even though they didn't know what these weird characters were about they could at least recognize the big lettering that said Dallas you know give something for the people driving home from work actually because it's not a very walkable area but in the mornings and in the evenings you see all the rush hour traffic coming through here so it was nice after we painted that wall that I was getting emails and comments and messages about how they were seeing these murals on their way to work or on their way home from work. We would approach business owners where we noticed that there was a lot of gang graffiti on their property. And what we would say is we would love to paint this mural for free. You'll see that the neighbors will like it and the gang members will probably respect it enough to not paint on your building anymore. You'd be surprised how much a little color on a wall can really change the dialogue in a community.